You must have heard a few thousand times that life passes in the blink of an eye, right? Well, this phrase is often said mainly by older people who let time pass without realizing that it was passing, right? And because of this rapid passage of years, when we least expect it, everything goes out. But in today's video, the story is a little different. I will tell you about the life of a man who postponed the end for hundreds of years, as well as revealing the secret of his near immortality. Are you ready for this? Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, leave your like down below, a comment to support my work on YouTube, and tag along to meet the man who lived 256 years and before he died, revealed his secrets. I am Tiago Tadeo, and welcome to The Upside Down. The protagonist of our story today is a Chinese man named Ling Xing Wen, and according to some available information, he was born in Sichuan province, which is located in the southwest of the huge Asian country. Not much is known about Xing Wen's early life. After all, he started to be actually recognized when he reached 70 years of age, which for most of us would be considered almost the end of life, right? For Chen Wen, this was truly the beginning of his prime. That's when the already old Chinese man decided to embrace the world to pass on the knowledge that he had collected for decades in different areas. The first step in this new life was to join Commander-in-Chief Yue Zhang Sem's army. The general was once one of the leaders of the Kaixian province, which is also in southwest China. And you may think, why would an old person join the army? Well, family, Qing Wen had a lot of knowledge to pass on, like the practice of martial arts. The elder had the role of training the troops. At the same time, he would advise warlords on tactics that could be most effective against their enemies. Due to his age and also the role he played, Qing Wen ended up becoming very famous. He was respected by the troops, the great warlords and the Chinese government. And it was this good relationship with the rulers that made Qing Wen a legend. About 50 years after joining the army, Qing Wen undertook a pilgrimage that would change his life completely. According to the stories told about this man, he would find in the mountains a hermit even older and wiser than he was. It is not known exactly what mountains these would have been, or who was this mysterious man who could be so wise. However, the stories say that Qing Wen learned a lot about several important issues in his life. With the hermit, the old Chinese man developed breathing techniques to improve his connection with the world. He knew a way to move coordinated with the sound and absorbed several lessons about how to make a proper diet and with the use of medical herbs as well. If Ching Huen was considered a sage before that moment, after his stay with the mysterious hermits, everything became even more intense. It was probably after this transformative moment that the old Chinese man became a herbalist. He had become a kind of herbal sage who knew how to cure even humanity's greatest disease, death. With this new knowledge, Ching Wen went back to doing some of his tasks and later returned to the province where he was born. The years passed and the old Chinese man became a legend of Taoism. Despite living among warlords, where there is always conflict and much discord, Ching Wen had found harmony. The old Chinese man knew the path he had to take to continue living a long and pleasant life recognizing losses and celebrating victories. But even knowing how to cure all diseases, the herbalist knew that flesh was not eternal. A few years before Ching Wen's death, a general named Yang Sen called him to record his life through a photo. This is the only image record of the old Chinese elder. And excuse the redundancy of the old elder, okay? But when his life finally came to an end, Ching Wen revealed that he was 197 years old which is more than any human has ever lived, right? I know, I know. You must be thinking, how can a common man have reached such an old age, huh? What is his secret? Is this story really true? I will talk about that in a moment, but I need to say a few more things about Li Ching Wen's life. As you may have seen from the title of this video, the story is about a man who lived to be 256 years old, and so far, I've only talked about an old man who didn't even live to be 200. Didn't even live to be 200, huh? Well, here's the thing. 
Li Cheng Wen was so old that he himself had forgotten how old he was and what year he was born. The date of death was very clear, May 6 of 1933. So if he had lived to be 193 years old, his birth year would be in... That's it guys, 1737. However, this is not the year Li Cheng Wen was born, at least not according to the research the Chinese government did in the 1930s after the old man's death. This is where we get back to that good old relationship Qing Wen maintained with the government and the army. Because of these close ties, the old Chinese man was congratulated on his 150th birthday. There were documents that proved this, so there's no way he could have died at the age of 197. Qing Wen was at least 250 years old. Finally, the researchers arrived at a date of birth in 1677 which meant that the old Chinese man had died at 256 years of age. Which makes this story even more unbelievable, right? As it would increase the world record for the oldest man in the world, making this feat something almost unbeatable. Well, as I said earlier, we can't leave this video without debating what may be the main question on your mind about this story, right? Is it true or is it false? After all, how can you believe that a man could have lived so long without evidence? Well, first, let's address the side that believes in Qing Wen's story. For the believers in the legendary figure of Taoism, the Chinese government's proof of congratulations is more than enough. Otherwise, why would such important people take the time to congratulate on fake birthdays, right? This point can further be taken into consideration when we think that congratulations have surpassed generations, governments, and even ideals. Qing Wen received awards from both the warlords and the former Chinese Empire and the National Revolutionary Army, which brought China into the country it is today. All respect is valid as confirmation of Qing Wen's advanced age, but many people and scientists do not believe this, as there are no concrete documents on the fact. In 2015, Brazil had an estimated 3 million people without IDs. Without this document, it is as if these citizens were invisible. In fact, they can't even be considered a real citizen because they don't have access to education, health, or any other right. I'm quoting these numbers because they are from six years ago. Now imagine that in 1600. How many people didn't have documents, didn't have records of anything? We can understand this side. Even though Qing Wen was famous, it was not common to have an ID or social security number as we have today. Due to the lack of this proof, even the lack of a birth certificate, many scientists discredit the story. To them, Qing Wen is nothing more than an invented legend. There is even a longevity study published in 2011 that cites Qing Wen as a hoax. In the research, the authors indicate that a lot of very old people that surpassed generations were often, in fact, different people taking the same identity. Somebody died, somebody else just assumed the same identity and went on with their life, you know? This means that there were several Qing Wens, all of them with the same identity. According to this research, it just so happened that the last old Chinese man died in 1930s with no one to replace him. Another curiosity raised by the study is that Qing Wen died at the age of 256. This number is a multiple of eight, which in the Chinese culture is sacred and a sign of good luck. Whether you believe in Qing Wen's longevity or not, the old Chinese man is still a legend that holds a real secret. Now let's be honest, if you made it this far until this part of the video, it's because you want to know Li Cheng Yun's secret, right? What did he teach the world anyway, Tiago? Well, for the old Chinese man, to achieve balance and a good and long life, it was necessary to do the following. Keep the heart calm, sit like a turtle, walk vigorously like a pigeon, sleep like a dog, and well, what does that mean? I'm not a Taoist master, but a lot of what Qing Wen did was keep his mind calm, lead a life of lots of physical exercise and good nutrition. The old man believed in maintaining good health of the body, basically keeping everything in balance, and also of the mind and soul, a base that needs to be preserved. Now that you know Qing Wen's secret, I have a question for you. Do you really believe that using this techniques, he could have lived this long? Leave your answer down here in the comments so I know, okay? Guys, this video will be ending here. I hope you liked it. Do not forget to subscribe. If you want to make a video suggestion, send it here in the comments, okay? We'll see each other next time. Take care, and until next time, peace.